Hi, this is my experimentation for either proving or disproving the prevalent myth that a silk undershirt would uh, prevent penetration of an arrow into somebody's body or that it would absorb the shock of the arrow um, and allow it to be able to pull back out. Uh, what I have here is a modern styrofoam target. It is not a complete analog to human flesh, but it will serve the purpose. The primary armor I'll be putting on it is this very hard, thick leather that's been water hardened and baked and then coated with wax. To represent the undergarments under it, I've got assorted layers of linen and cotton and also some felted wool that I'll be putting in in assorted different layers, um, probably about eight layers of linen and four, and this four layer section of the felted wool to represent an undershirt. And I will then replace the inner layers with about three layers of silk. Um, a lot of this comes from the Mongolians, or legends about the Mongolians, who the theory, uh, traditional Mongolian wear, because they were so pre heavy, heavy dependent upon, hor upon horses, a lot of their garments double layered across the front so if something was say made out of four layers then that double layering would make it eight layers thick so this is going to represent somebody wearing a four layer thick um, coat under their armor and then probably a tunic of felted wool these are the arrows that I'm using for my experiment here as you can see this is a medieval style broadhead with a leaf shaped profile which the tip of it has been hardened and filed very sharp it is held in place it is tanged and is held in place into the bamboo shaft and reinforced with thread and fish glue the fletchings on it are pheasant feather and again held in place with fish glue some twine here and a reinforcing here on the knock point and as you can see it is self knocked and these are being shot from a 50 pound Mongolian recurve using the traditional thumb ring style shooting. Okay, we have three arrows here that hit the target. One of them pretty much about dead center here. This one went through just the padding material, so that isn't going to be can be used as a control against the other two. And that looks to be about 18 inches of penetration there. Of course, the backing of it is a styrofoam target, so that's already been shot through all winter. So. To take a look at the layers in the back here, we've got eight layers of linen, two, four, six, eight layers of linen, and then four layers of felted wool. And it looks like it did not carry any of the fibers with it into the into what would be the womb track. Okay, so for this arrow right here, the, what would probably be on the top of the frame here, as I pull it out. <laughs> stubborn coming out and about 12 inches of penetration definitely plenty to be deadly and then for the other one here about probably 16 to 18 inches of penetration again plenty to be deadly in the human body 
And this is the inner four layers that was penetrated very cleanly, very clean cut. Now with the very clean cuts, did not drag any of the wound or any of the fabric into what would be the wound. In this case, we're for the next step here, we're going with the same thick hardened leather with two, four, six, eight layers of linen, two layers of this tightly woven silk, and then two to represent a silk dell that would be worn by a Mongolian warrior. And then this very lightweight silk here that would represent a silk undershirt. So there's three layers of silk under eight layers of linen over layered up hardened leather. So we will see how this turns out. All right, on this round of shooting, I did not actually hit the armor, but I did hit the stuff with the silk backing on it. So, we'll take a look here. Now, on this one down here, you can see pretty clearly that it cut clean through and did not drag into the wound. This one here, looks like it pulled it in. So, can I get you to hold the camera? and position so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to do what they tried to do in Legend by pulling on the edges of the silk here to try and pull it back out. And look at that. Did not do that, it just simply cut right through. And penetrated all the way in. Same with this one. Now, the one up here did not hit the armor, but it did hit the linen. Two, four, six, eight layers of linen. And the silk appears to be fully penetrated too. And that looks like a very clean, I don't know how well you can get zoomed in there, but that looks like a pretty clean track of just being penetrated straight through. And then even the inner one right here, although the silk has pulled into it a little bit, a little bit of tugging reveals a very clean cut and no dragging of the silk into the wound track. So I will try a few more shots, see if I can actually hit my mark. Okay, after that last round of shooting, we got two more arrows that came close to the mark. This arrow right here hit just to the side, but as you can see, it pulled some of the fabric into the track. Let's get in a little closer here. Let's see if we can do the legendary teasing it out. You, you zoomed in real well? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, as I try to tease the edges of the fabric out, as you can see, that did not work. And if you can get it zoomed in there, you can see it's a very clean cut of the fabric itself. So although it bunched up and kind of went in, we're still dealing with almost 24 inches of penetration here. Now, this last one here actually hit, it hit the edge of the hardened leather. I'm probably going to try shooting again, maybe from a little closer so I can be more accurate to actually get it through the hardened leather. But again, this went through the hardened leather. That's two layers, four layers, six layers, eight layers of linen. Finally hit the silk. Can you get in there with the silk and see it? And it looks like the silk was cut just as much as the outer layers of the linen. And if I try to tease at it, it just moves as if it was cleanly cut. And again, even the inner layer, which was a, which was a 
bit tighter weave and looser weave silk, it is still very cleanly cut. Did not follow the arrow into the wound track and resist being cut. Okay, we finally got a good shot of it penetrating the armor. So now, if you would please, and just try to keep it in frame. So, very clearly going through the leather plate, hardened leather plate. It's got a pretty clean track. It's got a little triangular cross section which tells me which way the blade on that on that broadhead was oriented. So again, let's see if we can kind of see what's inside here. We've got the first two layers of linen. Next two layers of linen. Next two layers. That's a total of eight layers of linen. And I don't know how well you can see it in there, but that looks pretty cleanly cut through. And if I tease at it just a little bit, yep, sure enough, it slides right out. Now it does show some bunching on the inside there where it hits that final layer of silk. But again, I'd be willing to bet that if I tug on it, sure enough, it's cut and penetration is all the way in. Let's push this back out, put it back out a little bit. So again, as I pull it out, that my friends is about 18 inches worth of penetration. Definitely enough to kill somebody. So, part one of debunking whether or not silk a silk undershirt keeps an arrow from or bunches against it and keeps that arrow from doing damage to your internal organs. So far, not so good.